hey what's up youtube it's aki here hope you're doing well it's another day in the paradise in today's video i want to address the number one question that i get asked on my uh, wind tunnel project the question is how the heck do i generate a smoke and the answer lies in this device right here that i designed and 3d printed um, as you can see, it's a black box with a cable coming out from the uh, behind. We have a nozzle in the front here. But watch what happens when I turn it on by connecting the uh, power cord. Check this out. So what you're looking at here is actually not smoke. It's actually water mist. It's very nice and smooth. And we're really getting that laminar flow, which is beautiful. Now, if we put the smoke or mist generator close to our wind tunnel chamber, and if we crank up the speed of the fan, it shows the car is moving at a very fast speed. But the downside is that uh, the mist will become thinner. So I like to keep it somewhat in the medium speed. So let me show you how this works uh, by opening up the lid. And by the way, at this point, my design for the wind tunnel and the, the mist generator is finalized. And I will be taking some um, product photos in the next couple of days. And I, this should be available for you to purchase or pre-order on my website. So definitely check that out. So when I first trying to come up with a design for the uh, wind tunnel. I debated on which smoke generation method I would want to use. So there's the traditional uh, smoke from heating oil, like a, like a vaping device. But I felt like that's a little bit too invasive. I don't like that it has like heating elements in it. And I think water is the best, better way to go. Most people have water at their home and uh, there's no like superheating elements. It's easier to clean up, it's just water. You wipe it off at the end. And that's why I decided to go with uh, water mist. It turns out we can get really nice laminar flow. After I decide to go with water, I study how the mist like to travel. And what I found was that the mist tend to go from higher elevation to a lower elevation follows the uh, law of gravity. So knowing that fact, I decide to have the air intake up here that's higher than the air out outlet. So that uh, when you're applying suction force, like right now, the air can travel from up to down in a very natural and smooth. And there is one attachment that I want to include with the whole set, it looks very raw, but I feel like uh, the simpler it is, the better. But it's basically a rubber tubing that you can just attach to the nozzle. What this allows you to do, it allows you to control the direction of where you want the smoke or water mist to go. Now, some of you are gonna say this like, hey Aki, why don't you integrate the water mist with the uh, wind tunnel so you have a integrated product. And I definitely uh, would agree to that as well. But I feel like it's more fun when you can actually move the direction, a position of the smoke, instead of having it integrated into the wind tunnel. Uh, if you do that, then you won't really have a way to like move it up and down. So I think by separating the two devices separately, you get a lot more interaction and it's more fun this way. And because this is just water, when you're done using it, just unplug it and then, uh, you know, dump the water out and dry it on like a dish rack or something. Another thing why I did not want to go with a oil-based smoke generation is because like you, you can run out of uh, oil, so you have to buy it every now and then for like 15 or $20. So that's like a repeated cost that you will have to pay. But with water, you know, you can just get it from the sink. Now, as for the shape and size of the water mist maker, uh, I designed it to 
look like this because um, when I lay it horizontally, I can fit it inside of the uh, test chamber, which makes the uh, shipping and packaging a lot easier, takes up less space. Yeah, so I hope this video answer your questions. I will come up with a different color for the lid, maybe red, red on black. So that's consistent with the wind tunnel design. But like I said, I'm going to be taking some product photos in the next couple of days and hopefully upload that to my uh, website. And uh, you should be able to buy the whole set, the combo, uh, very soon, very soon. So definitely stay tuned. Thank you for um, joining this journey with me all along. I think I started this um, a month and a half ago. I never knew that it would take me this far. Um, this is like the five or the fifth or sixth prototype already. So I'm really glad that we finally have a fully working and that's ready for, for our shipping. Now I understand that there are a lot more polished version of wind tunnel out there. Um, that's probably not water-based, but um, if you get it from me, you're definitely supporting local business from from the us north america yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you very soon very soon